Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Um, thank you for joining me. And today I want to talk about um, expressing our emotions, our sensitive emotional moments, what people call triggers, or just overall communication um, in life with other people and also in romantic relationships. So on my own journey, I've noticed a huge difference in how I deal with my own emotions. Uh, little flare-ups or triggers, heightened sensitivities, etc., which stem from past experiences and past traumas, as well as our belief systems, our programming and conditioning, so, and our assumptions and our mental processing. So what happens, and it's clearly demonstrated within families and within romantic relationships, people who are close to us, um, all of these things come up, and they don't come up because it's a problem. They come up for the purpose of our expansion and healing and growth. So when they arise, we can see what arises, ultimately love what arises, and expand and grow from what arises, as well as, in the process, growing closer um, in a more intimate relationship with not only ourselves and our own emotions and our own self, but also closer to the people who we have these um, moments with. Okay, so, in my own journey, in my own romantic relationships, they've been the biggest learning grounds, as well as my own family, to be honest. Where, but you see that in everyone I used to house share, how well you get on well with other people and in your relationships in general is a very clear sign and indicator of how much spiritual or inner growth that you have gone through. So, if you want to see how far you are, ask yourself, how do you feel towards anyone in particular from your life or past or present? And how well are your current relationships with people in your life, your friends, family or a romantic relationship? even associates. So, what I want to talk about in this video is talking about authenticity and vulnerability and talking about blame, especially I want to focus on blaming because as I have been maturing and as we mature and grow inwardly, what happens at the beginning when we're younger is blaming is an automatic reflex almost where, where there's a problem in a, a relationship or with anyone, in a romantic relationship, for example, anybody, what happens is we tend to blame the other person. So, what I've found in my journey is I used to take to a degree the moral high ground. Yeah, I did. I took the moral high ground much more than I would have liked, which is fine. But I've, I've learned, I've, I've grown, I've healed. These days, what I've come to realize is in any relationship, in any person, pretty much, unless they're like a psychopath or like kind of mentally insane to a degree, unless they're like very uh, mentally unwell, um, but just more or less generally speaking, in any relationship with anybody, we have to take accountability and responsibility, not only for our emotions, but we would do very well to take half of the responsibility, even more, like whatever we want, in around the half mark. We really should be aiming at half, at least. We don't want to be blaming another person for like, one, especially making us, we don't want to blame anyone for anything. It's like, it's not a good, healthy way to do it, or to, to live life. We don't want to say, my well-being depends on you, so please behave, please be good. Because that's never going to happen in life, anyone. That's setting yourself up for disaster. So what we want to do is say, you're, you're off the hook. My happiness does not depend on you, it depends on me. So my well-being isn't dependent on you, so don't worry, you're off the hook. Because the minute we give another person the responsibility and the power for our joy and happiness, we also give them the power for our sadness and miserableness, miserability. So, 
there's I've talked about this extensively in other videos how to be self-sufficient in our own well-being and that's related to body mind spirit but it's pretty much fundamentally dependent on our thoughts and our mind our attitude our, our mood our beliefs our perceptions and what we focus on and what we think about because what we think about to bring about what you focus on expands and what you can what you envision you can manifest or allow in so in relationships I have seen with others and especially even myself the idea of blaming others so the more we blame others the more we shut our own growth off because the more we're focusing on other people the less we're focusing on ourselves so for me in my life what's been a tremendously good breakthrough is to look at myself and talk in a way where I'm not judging them or think in a way where I'm not judging them as being bad or wrong or shouldn't be the way they are what I've learned to do is to love and accept and embrace myself and another person for where we are in our life and our current stage of growth so rather than um, thinking or feeling better or worse than another person and um, rather than getting disgruntled that they aren't able or aren't willing to give me what I want to, to show up or appear or to listen or behave in a certain way that I want rather than getting belligerent about that which I know it can be frustrating because sometimes we want stuff you know and when we don't get it we get upset we blame another person for not delivering but basically we I don't deliver you don't deliver all the time perfectly well you know so at the end of the day it's kind of not really fair or right to use a loose word right it's not exactly fair or accurate to think or expect others to be perfect or a master and enlightened when not only they're not they didn't come here to be a master really exactly you know what I mean but we aren't like that ourselves so what I've done in my own life is I've gradually learned to ease up on getting frustrated and judging people for not being the way I want them to be, which is different than the way they are. You know, you ca I can't expect people or myself to be more advanced or better at anything like juggling, kicking a ball, singing, dancing, art, um, talking, listening, being more emotionally stable, anything. You know so that's helped me enormously in my life and relationships so for me I prefer to be um, tender or what's the word um, I'd rather cry than to shout at someone in anger because at the end of the day anger comes from hurt and pain but I'd rather just feel the hurt and the pain myself and be emotional instead of lashing it out on other people in the form of anger because um, in the past I have made these type of mistakes where I've expressed these my my frustration um, or I fought to be listened to I fought to be heard I fought and with a sense of friction and a sense of dissatisfaction at another person to give me what I want but it doesn't work that way everyone you can't force or fight someone into submission I've done that mistake in the past it just didn't work it kind of backfires um, Cheryl says a good point here and that's just enjoy each other and breathe through it with open communication yeah I'm done battling with myself and others um, yeah for sure Cheryl so so these days instead of trying to focus too much and another person I try and uh, learn from about what I don't know because there is a saying you don't know what you don't know and um, like I don't know what I don't know <laughs> like how can you know what you don't know you, you if you're aware of what you don't know then you do know it but if you're not aware if you don't know it at all you're totally oblivious and not aware so one thing I do know is that I don't know so at least having that awareness is brilliant like I know that I'm aware that I don't know so much stuff so that's one of my objectives. One of my objectives is to try and find out what I am not able to see or understand. And I do that with inquisitive, open questions. 
as well as my own guesswork and intuition, um, etc. But I try to get help, is what I'm trying to say. I try to be humbly, a humble learner, and I politely ask, you know, as, as tactfully as possible, if someone else, like either like my partner or someone close to me, or whoever I have a problem with, or <laughs> whatever I have an emotional upset with, I just try and get, seek their help if possible. So, this has worked amazingly well in my life. Um, because when you blame people, everyone, like, no one likes to be criticized. And when you attack or blame other people because you're resisting and very dissatisfied with how they are in a judgmental state, because you can be unhappy with someone's behavior, but when you start judging it and not understanding or accepting it, uh, that's, that's like friction. It's huge inner friction and internal turmoil. Your actions and words coming from this space are very conflicting, conflictatious, whatever the word is, creates conflict. But mm, I've gradually learned to be better at accepting, loving and embracing someone for how they are and myself, you know. And from this inner place of, I guess you could say love, care and knowing we're all doing our best, which is hard to remember sometimes in the moment, but yeah, just these other words. Um, you can definitely find resolution from a hot, like a, a different vibration, um, from a different energy, um, and things are much better resolved, and they're way less tumultuous or turmoil in the process. Also, so personally I've had enough like fighting or arguing in my life and I just want to feel good personally speaking like my vibration so I've learned these various different ways of how to feel better within myself because at the end of the day our vibration is pretty much our responsibility and like I said at the beginning of this video the more you give power and respect for other people to make you um, happy and joyful, you also give them the power to make you sad and miserable when they don't do what you're hoping or expecting of them, you know? So, we are independent uh, creatures, like interdependent, but to be codependent isn't healthy. And like I also say in other videos, um, to like angels or light beings have their own sense of personal self and power, self autonomy, self sovereignty, and self individuality, where they are able to be aligned in a, in their own inner being of unconditional love and light and peace, and what I also sometimes call positive power, like a sense of power, strength, confidence and sense of knowing to a degree. It's all a positive, powerful feeling that take, that inspire, all of this together inspires very clear, um, more empowered action and responses to people and events. So that's pretty much what I want to say in this video. Um, I hope it's been helpful. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I think, hope this has been helpful. Um, yeah. So I just really encourage you before I go to stop pointing the finger at other people and start looking at how you make mistakes or where you can learn and how you can improve. Um, and never think bad of yourself and don't think bad of others. We're all on a journey of self-discovery, healing and self-growth or expansion. So never think you're better or worse than anyone. But it's okay to compare because we all are also different. It's okay to say, you know, you're good at mechanics, I'm good at painting. You're better at this and I'm, I'm better at this. But there's different energies and vibrations and way of like looking at it. It's not like I'm fundamentally better or worse. It's just you're more practiced or advanced at this moment, uh, like we're supposed to have differences. It makes the world beautiful, 
like grass is different than a tree that's not a judgment saying that grass the tree is taller is just as equally beautiful as saying you're able to do this better maybe than me like you can fix the car and I can sing or something like that you know I can do maths or whatever the case may be so hope that makes sense we learn from contrast that's how life creates expansion we create these desires in our heart from looking at different things in life and experiencing different things so that's why like here and there up and down left and right that's all a comparison you see cars are moving in the air they wear there every I'm here there there it's supposed to be like that everybody it's supposed to be like that there's nothing wrong with comparison but just you can do it in a way it's smug ego righteousness like immature type of um, comparison and competition or you can do it where it's like it's beautiful and graceful and it's just lovely but the thing is if you depending on who is listening if you say talk about this someone depending on where the vibration could feel triggered and think you mean something different than you really think than what you're really thinking or saying so uh, like I could say I'm smaller than you like let's say someone's taller than me you know um, and <laughs> they could think that I'm that, that I'm like lacking in confidence and like wishing I was taller or if I said I'm taller than you, someone could, someone could think I'm insulting them and like I'm like putting them down. So like it's all it's all, like both of those are factual could be are, could be or are factual like observations. But depending on the vibration of where who's um, perceiving you saying this, they can get triggered and offended or assume you mean something different than what you're actually saying. So that comes back to my whole original point in this video. Be an open, humble learner and ask if you're unclear. Don't be making assumptions because an assumption is thinking you know, which is called a belief. So if you think you know, it's called a belief. But one of my favorite things I've ever learned in my life is that I know that I don't know so much of the time. And if I, I might, I'm, I'm really happy to like, ask somebody, can you clear it up for me, please? Because I, I probably don't know. <laughs> you know? It's better to have this like energy, like a simpleton energy almost, like a forest gump. Instead of being so arrogant and thinking you know everything, living a life of conclusions and assumptions, everyone. For me, that's an insane life, a mad life. I, I would, I'd hate to live that life. No offense, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I, you know, I <laughs> didn't <laughs> little puppy hi <laughs> just cute dog <laughs> cutest dog ever <laughs> so anyway, I hope you get the point and I hope you know this is my vibration I hope you understand my vibration it's all vibrational it's all perceptional <sighs> it's, it's a life of thoughts and many thoughts are heart-centered or not heart-centered. So it's a life of heartiness or not heartiness. I don't know, everyone. Sometimes I just ramble on. I don't know. I wish I'd like more questions, actually, because then I can get to the practical matter sharper. Anyway, if you've, everyone, if you've missed this video from the beginning, I recommend watching it. I think it's been a very helpful video. Um, I, I wish... I love, I love, no, I like my own videos and I wouldn't want to take back the past, but in a way, like hypothetically speaking, I wish I could watch myself a video like 10 years ago or 5 years ago or 1 year ago, 2 years ago. I would have saved myself a lot of heartache, but to be honest, I guess I had to go through all that like stuff that I went through in order to learn to make these videos and just to be where I am now in life. So, it's a funny old world, everyone, and knowing you don't know and being humble is the best thing ever not fake humbleness pretending you're like weak or low we're awesome kick ass divine beautiful beings of love and light so own our, our power know we're magnificent know we're good at loads of stuff but just don't be worried about saying like I'm not good at that I'm not blah 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 and sometimes when we're not good at it, we can easily change so it's not like it's a permanent fixture like for example I can't run a hundred miles now like a hundred mile race but that's not who I am and I can practice for it so it's not like I, I can improve my communication 
I can improve my listening skills. I can improve every anything, everything in my life. So it's very empowering to be open and uh, open to give and open to receive. Okay, everyone, I'll let you go now. And um, thanks for watching. Lots of love. And um, don't forget for one-to-one -one consultations, uh, body, mind, spirit, relationships, health, all the sort of stuff, uh, inner healing, growth. Just ch just send me a message or like, check my website, ownfox.org. Um, and then um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel um, on YouTube called Owen Fox New Age Sage Clown Transformer. <laughs> Owen Fox New Age Sage Clown. And then I added in Transformer at the end because I like to try and help transform my own life and other people's life. Because <laughs> uh, it reminded me of Teal Swan, the spiritual catalyst. And catalyst means someone who helps transformation. And I just I like the word Transformer because I used to like to Transformers, the cartoon when I was small. And I just think it's a fun and good positive word to transform, you know. I'm really into personal inner transformation. And the more we inner transform our own vibration and heart and mind, we totally transform the outside of our life, you know. What, what happens and what goes on and what we receive and give and share and co-create in our life. So, everyone, I love making these videos, but I do better go. But I do, I do, I do thank you and I'm grateful for you joining in. Um, it's been fun and a pleasure for me. Um, thank you and uh, I'd love to hear from you so if you have any questions or comments or video requests check it out I mean ask me but also check out my old live videos on Facebook and as well my, my YouTube channel and I'll see you again another time love you take care lots of love love hugs and kisses <laughs> bye